Ra. I am Dr. Minister Ramon Prince for the Ohm Institute, the Church of Christ Consciousness for Worldwide Hope. Okay, we're going to get into another episode of Naked Church. Nudity is a must, for it is a powerful prerequisite for reaching that 1080 frequency or love, especially during sex. Now, we on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or wherever we are, so I can't show you the nakedness, but it's going on. Trust and believe. I'll show you it's going on. That's the best I can do for you. But, um... So, this is Statics 33, people. Ask yourself, are you Statics 33? If so, you need to get help now. In the last video, Sex Magic and Flat Earth Matrix, we talked about what the 33 was about. You have 10 fingers, 10 toes. That's already 20. 10 fingers, 10 toes. 10, 10, 20. Okay. Two legs. Two palms. Two arms. Two feet. A head and a neck. That's another 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. That's 30. This piece right between the neck and the torso is one. The torso is two. And this right here in the genitalia region. This right here in the genitalia region. Is three. That's 33. Those are the 33 areas. That sexual energy gets blocked. Or tachyon gets blocked. This is why we have what we call joint pains. And stuff like that. That's really sexual energy blocked. And it does a lot when it blocks it, it impedes. Pardon me, people. It impedes on the blood circulation. It dehydrates us, which leads to a whole host of other things, including headaches and fatigue and uh, skin outbreaks, uh, different type of, all kinds of skin outbreaks. There's too many to name. It also opens a, 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 us up to our bone decay and um, as far as things not, us not healing correctly and things of that nature. All of that trapped energy. But this is the source of all of our problems. This statics 33. This is the issue right here. So, I'm going to get into... What is this statics? I didn't tell you about that last time. S T A T I X. This is a combination of two words static, which you would put a C on the end, static. And if you take this S T and move it and put M, it will be, well, you need an R there also, but matrix. So it's static and matrix. STA static, TIX, well, STAT is static, and the IX is for the matrix. There are two types of electricity static and current. Actually, there's three types, but I'm not going to get into the other one because it bears no, it's, it's, people are not ready for that one. But anyway, it's another, another uh, static, meaning still or stagnated. Current meaning flowing and moving. When, pardon me, one's uh, electricity or the electricity that's going through us gets stuck, as I just said, when it gets caught in the joints. Because, see, Tachyon is magnetic energy, it's magnetism, magnetic energy. Throughout this whole matrix, we're in a matrix, one giant simulation, a virtual reality, a holographic virtual reality time simulation program. And throughout this program, there's a virus on the program, but throughout this program, electricity is pumped into it. 
that keeps us from ascending to a certain point. It's like when you read the Bible, and I do teach the Bible, but I teach it in a much different way than anybody else that you've come across for the most part. I haven't seen anybody teaching it like that. But when you when it says they were building a tower of Babel, and they was reaching a tower that reached into heaven, heaven is the womb. The tower was a, a phallus. They were learning the secrets of sex ritual. That's a whole nother video. And they said, God said, let us come down and confuse the language. Confuse the language. The language is not just spoken word or sounds. Language is the word. The word is the consciousness. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me, I wasn't yawning this much before. They some, I guess, frequency trying to impede on this video. They trying to <laughs> make sure it don't work out too well. But it's going. It's too dope. The information is too powerful. Y'all gonna want it regardless. But um, okay. So they pump electricity into this simulation to shock us, like a form of shock therapy. If anybody ever seen the old school, certain Christian denominations, when they come across people in their congregation or congregant members who will have children that were homosexuals, they would take them to a camp and they sometimes they would hook them up to certain devices and show them pictures or movies of homosexuality. And when they're looking at it, it would get aroused and it would shock them. That way, it was something that would make them, when they're in the regular world, and they see something or they get an urge, they'll remember the shock and it'll just make them don't want it. It's the same thing with us in this matrix. The electricity is pumped all through it. But it's a different type. I told you it was three types. We're not talking about the regular... When I say it's two states of electricity, that's what I was talking about. But there's different types of electricity. It's not just the electricity that's in your home or that's f pumping your street lamp. <sighs> yeah, they're really doing it. This is something that is on a whole nother frequency. So as you're having uh, the ritual of sex and you're going through the three stages, which are intercourse sexual intercourse sex what's happening is you're going you're reaching different frequencies from zero to 31 uh 360 i don't want to get there's too, too much technicality but you're going through the levels right that's another that could be another video getting into the numbers but you're going through these levels and as you're getting through these levels there's electricity that exists on a certain frequency that's different than the frequency in your wall. I don't mean it's more powerful. I mean it's a whole t different type of electricity. It's on another level. And it's still electricity just so much finer and more potent. As you get to that level, it shocks you in a certain way. When you have orgasms and you feel like you know, you'd be like, oh, I'm coming. And you scream and you feel like, oh, my God. That's a shock. That's electricity that you're feeling. When you find yourself like mm, grunting or that's electricity. You grunting not because it feels so good. It feels good because of the electricity going through you, shocking you. It's like, mm. like some people, any people that you hear people that cut themselves, like, you know, not suicide victims, or uh, not victims, but suicide uh, participants. <sighs> this is crazy. I haven't yawned this much in forever. But anyway, and I'm well rested. But anywho, people say it feels good. It's a release. That's, you know, because there's times where you can ejaculate and not feel that way. So it's not the ejaculation that's making you feel that way. It's everything else. So what happens is not everything else. It's the electricity. When you reach a certain frequency, you are getting your, your now, your energy. You are energy. But as you get to a certain you're, you're, you become a lighter type of energy. You're not just the body anymore. You're now, your consciousness is taking you through different dimensions. And 
and this is happening. So you hit the dimension where that electricity, not dimension, that frequency where that electricity is and it shocks you. Now you can feel it. You can't really consciously feel it other times. You can, but you don't know. There you can consciously feel it. This is what they do so that you can have what is known as an orgasm. Because it feels so good, you're like, ah, and then you're good. You go back down. But the reality is if you kept going, you would get past it and you would get higher. You would eventually hit that 1080, which is that perfection, that love frequency. And it would be different. <sighs> this is crazy. But um, have any of you ever, I'm going to use a female, for example. It could be a guy too, but ever come across a female and or you heard a female tell another female like, "Girl, you glowing. What you been doing? Who you been having sex with? Nah, he must be hitting it right or whatever." And she was like, "Yeah, you know, girl, my boo came over yesterday and we did this and that. That was yesterday. Why she glowing today?" Or he be like, "Well, girl, I met this dude. He hit it last week. Boom, boom. We did. She still glowing from last week." An orgasm, not orgasm, an omgasm, which is the true uh, orgasm we're supposed to, it's the highest form of orgasm we're supposed to have. It's not an experience like, oh, oh, come on. that's not it. That's when you're being interrupted. You haven't gone past the electricity stage consciously. You're going, you go and go through that. You're not going to get past that, but the, you got to keep going past that, not physically having sex psychologically you gotta go a lot of people once they get that they're done they're good they don't they don't raise their consciousness anymore you are having an advanced orgasm long after that feeling goes away it could be for minutes it could be for hours it could be for days it could be for months it could be for years like I said, that's why you can see a female a week later still glowing from a sex session she had. She's still coming. She's still having an, not coming, having an orgasm. You can call it coming, but call it having an advanced orgasm. An orgasm is nothing more than a peaceful state of meditation. It's the truest state of meditation. It's being in the infinite moment where you're not worried and concerned about things, where you're just in that what people might call a feeling. It's not really a feeling, but you're in that state, that place. Static 33. As you know from the last video, if you didn't watch the last video, watch Sex Magic in the Flat Earth Matrix. This right here is the box. This is the genitalia region. That's the box. There's a person in the box. You got to break out of that. I tell you about that and going up the ladder and the keyholes and different things like that in the other video. But that's what this is all about. Statics 33. I'm going to do another video on tarot cards and how people, not just tarot cards, <clears throat> all forms of so-called spirituality and metaphysics needs to be upgraded. We are past the stage of doing things on a baby level. We are all grown ups now. That are participating in this world. And we need to get real about real information. That stuff was good a long time ago. Because a lot of people were still living in a state of um, denial. So we had to put a lot of stuff in codes back then. Now we're past the stage of codes. We have the information. We're in the information age. We need to just flat out come out and be and do what it is the correct way. There's no more time for codes. The tarot cards are codes. We don't need that. We need to use them in a proper way. And I'm going to show you how. Meditation, yoga, all that. Crystals, I'm going to show you how to use all of that updated, the upgraded version. Like every so often you upgrade your phone. You don't have the same phone for 10 years, right? 20 years, right? You don't have the same cell phone. You upgrade. You wouldn't keep the same cell phone for 10 years. Same thing. Upgrade your information. All right? Just to let you know, I'm not your average priest and it's not your grandma's religion. I might not like you, but I love you. Jesus Christ was a woman who came to teach on Chicago and breach your sexuality through Itaqua, the royal path to the throne or the 1080 love frequency because you have to EYS and breach your sexuality. Why? Because you want to own Chicago, which is 
use sex as a gateway back to source or the highest frequency that there is. Rahu. Oh, oh, one more thing. People keep telling me to do this and I keep not doing it and they're getting upset with me. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. If you don't want to comment, that's on you. Could you just like the video and subscribe? I said what I, I said it, so now people, if you don't do it, it's not on me. But I, I just don't do it because I just figure whoever want to know what to do. But all right, could you like the video right now? Could you subscribe to the to the channel right now? If this is on IG, go to YouTube, look up Love Sci, L U V S space S I C S C I I. L U V S space S C I I Love Sci. That's the channel on IG. We have the same channel, Love Sci, but we also have other channels, which is me, Vermont Prince, M A apostrophe M O N space P R I N C. Um, we have the Feminine Future page. Um, those are some of the pages we have on Facebook. You can look up Vermont Prince, simple. And uh, our like page is the is Om Institute. That's A U M space I N S T I T U T. No E at the end, just T stops right there. Okay, so that's how you can find it. Go on Facebook and like the video. If you're on Facebook, like the video. I try to share it from here to Facebook to bring you back here. So, you know, we can see, you know, how much engaging people are doing with the video or whatever. And same thing with IG. Okay? Rahul.